movie review. movie review. movie review. Watch us on YouTube. Is this thing on? <laughs> it ain't just about the money. It's about fucking no skis just like that right there. It's about driving those fly ass cars. And it's definitely it's definitely about never dressing like a nigga like you. Let's go be stars up in this joint, all right? This is the hood movie review. We got your host, of course, Kenny, the bad guy. <laughs> we got TK on the right. Yo. And we got down here, we got Sledge. Mm-hmm. We're reviewing paid in full. So let's get into it. All right. So we're going to start off like this. Oh, my back. Start off like this. Do y'all think he was a good drug dealer in the first place? A, uh, Ace Boogie. Ace Boogie a- was a. He yeah, became a-, a good drug dealer because. <laughs> At first he was <laughs> Because the nigga, the the nigga, damn sure. I mean, the nigga sold. He walked. What did he was a dry cleaner? Yeah, he had a nice little like a nice little cover at first when he was at in first. The, uh, Until yeah, Mister Pitt put his ass out. Yeah, because he left that shit sitting in the uh, in the store. <laughs> yeah, he had a nice little cover. He he was actually like smooth, like not smooth at first. Like he was like he had it everything going. He had a nice little alibi and all that stuff like that. But it was just <laughs> when he that first drug deal was awful. He said, oh yes, it was. <laughs> he was looking up. <laughs> he said, "Damn, no bottle." He said, "Nah, come in a plastic bag, baby. No bottle, <laughs> no bottle needed." Right? <laughs> he said, this is, "He said it's a lot for fifty dollars." <laughs> right. He gave the whole bag. <laughs> he gave he gave him everything right there. He said, "Yeah, I'll definitely be back with you." <laughs> right, right. I'm about to come, nigga. You ain't about to get he- half the shit. That's what he said. He said, you we're gonna be here later. He said across the street, like, oh nigga, like damn. You gonna do all that right now. First of all, you're a bad, you're a bad junkie. You ain't even make none of it last. You used all that. <laughs> it had to go back that night. Yeah, he was <laughs> when I rewatched that drug uh, that drug dealer scene, I said this dude was awful his first go around. But then he became the man after a while. <clears throat> What, what do y'all think Money Making Mitch was selling at first before they uh, started selling cocaine? Weed. It was weed. Because that, that man said, he said, I'm about to get me, he said, I'm about to get me a Benz. He said, yeah. He I said, don't think he was selling weed. Years. It was, he it said, was no more. Yeah, he said, ten. he said, in 10 years, we're going to have matching Benz. He said, 10 years. I'm talking about 10 days. It was seven. <laughs> he said, seven days. He can't get a week later with a new Benz. Yeah. So you said he was he was selling. I mean, nah, I was saying he said in ten years. He said ten years. This gonna be it's gonna be ten days. I was like, oh, ten pills days. Pills weren't out yet, so <laughs> pills weren't out yet. So it's either weed, hair on. Okay. I think it might have been hair on for real. Because it, real fuck with because when Mitch showed him that shit, he said this looked like coke, and he was like, you need to go, you need to go talk to Cal. Yeah. So it's like you know. Yeah, so I don't think it was yet. coke or crack. I, I think he was probably selling hair on and be getting money that quick like that, especially in Harlem too back then. Yeah, you could probably see that. He got the fact that he got he had a whole new car. He got a Benz back in that was black eighties. That was the eighties and a Rolex. And the car, right? <laughs> yeah, he said I and the Rolex. <laughs> and, and he pulled up in the new was a BMX bike too. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, yeah, you know, just something slight. It's just something slight. It was just something though. slight. Let's talk about you. Right, um, it wasn't weed. It was it was hair on. <laughs> it was, it was, it was hair now I got a theory for y'all. Uh, when I rewatched it, remember when he first started selling? He was selling for Lulu. Lulu was like, "Hey, look. okay." He was like, he, he was I, I was now. hoping you was gonna get to that. Go ahead. Yeah. So this is my theory. This is my theory. Okay. Everybody yeah. in the movie that murdered somebody. You said mm-hmm. what? Everybody in the movie murdered somebody except for Ace Boogie in that movie. He's the only person. What anybody. movie was this? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Everybody murdered somebody, but Ace Boogie is the only person that didn't murder somebody. I think he killed Lulu, and because he wanted to be higher in the thing. And then you know, nah. think about on, on, on top of that, on top of that, you got nah. the fact that he's the only one like living out of all of them. Well, 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 not living, but like the only one that wasn't. Uh, well, actually, yeah, the only one living now. But um, he's the only one that's still doing his thing. 
because remember he because remember he went to the uh the, to the to his plug and was like hey i'm trying to work for y'all whatever blah 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 right but but he came yeah. there and lulu was already dead that's what i'm saying how do we know that though i don't I, I get what you're saying. Okay, my thing about Lulu, I felt like Lulu Lulu was too friendly. He was a friendly-ass drug dealer, and that's probably why he did get killed. I don't think he got killed by Ace. No, I don't see that one. I because, think he got killed by Ace, bro. I really do, because he's, he's the only one that found him. He found him. He was the first one to find this nigga. And then took that, took that money and the drugs and dipped. It was like, here y'all go. I don't think I don't think Ace did it. You can tell Ace Ace ain't really have no kill, killer instinct in him. Like I'm not gonna say killer instinct, but but if you if it's a story about you, would you and and you haven't been in trouble for murder? Would you talk about a murder you did on on video? <laughs> I don't. Nah, I'll be okay. I know what you mean about that, but. That's what I'm saying. I think. I think. I don't I'm know. I'm not saying he did it. I'm just saying it's it's a possibility. That You're he just took saying that the way the stars were lined that day. It looked like it's a little. It's a little too too late. I mean, they, I mean, they called him that lucky, and I'm thinking, you know, I don't think he was that lucky. Uh, <laughs> I think he probably uh, took that man out. Ah. Uh, and what uh, the business can't really uh, mm. that's, that's what I think. So that's, that's something. Okay. Really I don't know if you were trying to say something, Sledge, but you muted. You're still muted. <laughs> right. There you, there you go. Been talking to you the whole time, muted. Yeah, mm. we'll see no, wonder why, no wonder. No wonder why I wasn't being heard. <laughs> <laughs> you wasn't getting a response, huh? Nah, I, I was saying shit like, okay, maybe, okay, fuck it. Maybe my shit don't mean nothing. So, so, do you think that happened? I don't believe that happened. Nah, I'm not, I, I, I'm honestly think, it I honestly think, like you said, he was friendly as fuck. But I honestly think that Ace was in the movie. I mean, I guess it was a true story, but if you ever, if you, there's always that calm, laid back. He's not a square, but he ain't. He's just smart. Dive, he was smart. Nah, nah, let's dive deeper into that because, all right, so look, Lulu, Ace, he, he, he popped up on him out in the hallway when he was at his first job, right? He said, hey, you're a dry cleaner, right? So he scouted Ace pretty much. My thing is, why did he take Ace out of everybody? Because then when he seen him, he gave him his clothes, whatever, and he had the rock in his clothes. You he, you just don't forget. You, you don't just don't forget that, that type. A, he, you know, it, he wasn't the only friendly one, though. He got offered to start selling drugs by, like, four different niggas. No, him. but the thing is... Him, money making Mitch. It was... Um, Calvin. Uh, Calvin. And then... You don't want to work with Calvin. No, no, no. We're no, going to no, get into no, that no, later. No, well, he did. He didn't want to work for him, but it was still one of those weird things. It was like, bro, like, you know me, like, like, hey, you cool with me, but it's like, why, why is everybody's trying to get me to be a part of this? That's like, that's that's weird to me. Cause it's easy because I'm loud. Nobody knows you. But, but why? And now, but why when, even when you associated with him, though. <laughs> that's all you like. Just I like know. I mean, I guess I mean when I look at Ace, I'll be like, that's like Franklin Saint, bro. <laughs> like, yeah. No, for real, no. Nah, yeah, yeah. nah. You're not. I don't. I I'm don't. Nah. Like, I don't I'm not know. About in the selling, I'm just talking about in the, in the for face value, bro. You would have never thought a nigga with a red hat like that working out of cleaners. <laughs> the red hat. Come on, bro. Hey, Dave Dash, like, hey, get your man together. He's <laughs> your man. Your man, like, hey, look. <laughs> hey, look. Hey, look. Like I'm gonna calling. still That's tell like you, even calling. even when he got money, he still wasn't fresh. Like, he still like. He had no, accessories and shit he added, but he still wasn't like he was still wasn't clean though. like Mitch was. Yeah, that's his character though, because he said, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to dress flashy. Because if you remember, remember when he had to talk with Lulu, at the same time you seen um Ace talking to Lulu and you seen Money Making Mitch talking to Ice. Ice said, he said, you know, I can smell a motherfucker with money. That's one of my favorite lines of the movie. I can smell right. a motherfucker with money. And he was telling him, bro, like, hey, even Ray like, Charles could see you got money. Yeah, he was trying bro, to tell him, you, he, like, like, you're really, like, showing off your money too much. And he's trying to, low-key was kind of warning him, like, hey, you know, somebody can get you with all that stuff going on. And mm. at the same Boiler time, alert. exactly. But saying at the same time, you got, um, what's his name? Uh, Ace Boogie talking Ace. to Lulu. And he said, he said, you, he said, you clean. He said, you said, you, you said, you look nice, not loud nice. Is what he's he's he was a like, different type. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So he 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 like inspired to be that. He's like, I'm trying to 
dress nice, but like not, got like, a, not be flashy. You look like you got a regular job. Yeah. Yeah. So like, yeah, like he looked, it, it was smarter. He was, he was trying to work smarter. Not, not be loud. So that's why I, I respect the Ace Boogie in that, in that aspect for this. And then we got, so at this point, uh, Money Making Mitch, uh, he shot dude, you know, because his, his, his people's got disrespected, if you remember correctly. Yep. He his people got disrespected, mm-hmm. so he had to retaliate. He said, you let them niggas take that stuff from you? And he was like, come on, we got we to get them. So they <laughs> shot the niggas. He said, <laughs> so now you cut off. Yeah. <laughs> it really was. And then, they, you know, they went to jail, met up with Rico, the, the, the wild boy. Rico was a mm. nut. Yeah, Rico was wild. Rico was the Rico was a downfall. Rico was a downfall, and I think, and now that I think, like, bro, I think, I think, money making Mitch knew he could be the downfall, but he also knew like we can also make money off with this nigga too. I don't, I don't think he knew that. I don't think he knew. I know Ace did. Ace was like, because Ace warned the nigga when he was when he was showing the, uh, the porno videos. Bro, he was the, doing the, the Dougie, the bro. No, that, that's, that's what I'm saying. He's seen, he's seen that. <laughs> I'm seeing when I hit it like that. Hey, look, you don't, you don't, I'm gonna tell you, you what. Don't trust a nigga like that. I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna tell you what. That man was good at what he was doing at that time because to be <laughs> the pressure to be recording yourself and then throwing it off like that, and it's like, like, like back shots for how long he was giving her on camera. That's that's, <laughs> that's you know. Shout out to organic that's love. Ridiculous. You feel me? He had to get something from them back. You know, I'm just saying. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, well, with that scene, like, like, cause he was, he was showing, like, he was like, Ace Boogie was literally looking at them. He was like, bro, y'all are acting up right now. Like, he's like, bro, you're right. <laughs> like, like, he's literally trying to tell me, he said, like, bro, y'all are acting up. He's like, bro, we're in the middle of this road skating ring, and you're showing, <laughs> this fucking, like, showing this porn and, and throwing yeah. money up in the air. He's like, bro, y'all look wild right now. He's like, and, y'all are loud. And, and then the next time he was in there, he was holding up guns and shit and pictures and out. <laughs> 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 he was trying to tell him. He said, bro, y'all are acting up right now. He's like, y'all got to be smarter. And he's like, bro, why the f-? But he was like, Rico was like, hey, I got all this money. Why can't I enjoy it? He was like, he's, and he was trying to tell him. He was trying to. So I understand where he was coming from, low key, because he was like, listen, he said, he said, you can be quiet and do all this stuff. He's like, but you ain't no, you ain't living life fun. Like, you ain't, you know, saying you ain't, you don't have no fun with your life. I don't know, bro. Rico was, Rico was a little bit too much for me because I'm like, hey, my nigga, you're going to get it. You're going to get us fucking caught. <laughs> oh no no no! That, that's where his money was coming from. He's like he's like, bro, you'll get his call. And so like that, that's where he made sense when he's saying that. But mm-hmm. Rico was like, listen, you got his money. He's like, we got, we might as well do have a little fun with it. Nigga, but you got a whole like, listen. porno. You got a whole fucking <laughs> porno. Like, come on, bro, that could have went for real. For real, that could have went left. That what went, that what you mean? Left. How could that have went left? <laughs> Out of everything no. to go left. No, the porno well, thing would have went, went left. left him, put, him, him throwing money up in the air. And, and showing guns and and you know so they buying the crazy cars or something like that like they was acting up with that, bro. That's why. Like you remember in, in American Gangster, he wore the he wore the motherfucking mink. Now he noticed, bro. That, that, was, the, that, that, that was literally the, that was literally the one time though in that movie. Remember that was the, the one the time. The one he, time that was and, the beginning of his downfall. One time, yeah. the one time he showed that's out. So, that, was, that was when the FBI investigated him. The one. And what time did he do he when he went home? home. What he do when he went home? He burnt that motherfucking jacket. He knew that he said he knew what it was. That, that's the worst when you know, like you be like, damn it, it's this right there. That was the one like, time he showed. That was the one time he showed out, and like, I don't know, that wouldn't be me though. I ain't gonna lie to you. I wouldn't be doing all that like like he was like he was doing. I would enjoy a little I mean, bit though. I would definitely enjoy a little bit of that uh, for sure. Bro, you but know, we would enjoy, but we'd still enjoy it with some sense. Yeah, yeah, bro, and, and, like and, that's, sense, and, bro. Yeah. and that's what Boogie was trying to tell him. He was like, "Bro, he said y'all need yeah. to, y'all need to y'all need to chill out." <laughs> He's like, "Y'all really need to chill out, bro." All right, so after they're, you know they're you know they're getting the money, you know they spending money on the uh, on the Chinese food takeout Good game. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, that's how it started. Playing five racks. It started off <laughs> happy. Wasn't they, they shooting did. like rice in the trash can? No, they're shooting bags. They were shooting paper bag, the paper bag. <laughs> he, said, he said, no spare ribs, no noodles. No noodles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No champagne, you don't deserve it. He said, none of that. It's all mine now. So we see Calvin, you know, because he is loud. He was really loud with his before even them. He Calvin got caught, went to jail, incited, I wanted to work again. He told him, 
Sorry, sorry, buddy. Can't do it. <laughs> Can't do it. Oh, he just knew how he was. We're full, bro. Like we got, you know, we yeah. ain't hearing nobody right now. But he said at the same time, though. At the same time, Calvin had a good point. He said, "Your man, oh man, Mitch just got out, and you put him straight on. I know he ain't got to do all that." But he said, he, man, said, he said he said we can control Mitch. Man. He said we can control Mitch. He said we can't control you. That's what he said. He said we can control we Mitch. We're, we're not even that though. Like Calvin, bro, Mitch is my nigga. You're just fucking my sister. Right, I, I said, don't really fuck with you, bro. And and I understand that part too. You was fucking my sister, and I ain't like you at that time for real. My mama ain't <laughs> like you, and you was just dragging my. Yeah, I should really beat your ass right now, but nah, yeah. you wait, gonna wait, end wait. up hurting me. <laughs> Did y'all notice this though? I. I noticed this when I watched it this time. When the the mom and it's like the mom and uh, Ace Boogie uh, gave him that look, like man, we ain't fucking with you for real. And he walks out and then he stands in the hallway. He's like, and he shows the money off to him. <laughs> he showed up. He, he pulled the money out, but because the scene before that though, the scene before that, he was being very disrespectful. He was being very disrespectful. He said, "See, look at this junior right here. This money right here." He said, "Your girl suck your dick all day long and won't complain." Yeah. He's a young girl and talking talk about his sister. Yeah. His sister. That's his wild. sister. Then he went upstairs and had to, well, they didn't even eat dinner, you know, because they went out to eat. About to say, but you want to know why they went out to eat? Because he was about to go get his wee wee suck. Yeah. That's probably. my theory. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, probably. <laughs> my theory. It was just the way it was just the way he stood that hallway, though. He was just. He's. <laughs> he was Calvin was just a Calvin was just a hoe, bro. He no, became he a hoe. Was. He became he became a homeless snowfall too, but that's a whole other thing. Oh yeah, yeah. He's the dad. Yeah, I was just telling Nicky. <laughs> oh, damn. All the moves connected. Damn. So, so he died. Well, <laughs> it was he died. I was about to say, yeah, it's not connected. It's not connected. <laughs> he said, "What's popping, Kermit?" <laughs> well, wait a minute. Bro. Wait a minute. He got. Nah, we ain't gonna do that. I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna have a complex one. I was gonna say he got his. I was gonna say he got his sister pregnant, and then that baby becomes Shut that up, dude. Kenny. But then, <laughs> look, listen, <laughs> listen, that's the point of the show. We're trying to connect these all these hoods. Stuff. We're you trying. lost me right there. Oh no, we're trying. <laughs> Who lost me okay. right there? But he had a he had a kid, and it ended up being Scully. If anything, about to say, but we <laughs> go. <laughs> Ew. Is that is that the is that Stacy? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He said, "Do the rod of me." <laughs> that nigga is wild, man. He was, you heard of Vaughn? He said, <laughs> hey, he was killing that day. <laughs> no, bro. The part look spoiler alert on that. The, like my favorite part of him on there was when he cut dude's ear off with the machete and then told him to calm down, calm down. You're getting blood down. on my floor. He said, yeah. "Calm down, yeah. calm down. You're getting blood, blood on, my on my floor, bro. You're dis." How you gonna chop my ear off and tell me to calm down? That nigga Scully, man. That nigga, that motherfucker is wild, bro. That nigga wild. Hey, so when Calvin went to jail, how long did he go to jail for? I'm a I'm assuming a year. It wasn't long. So did he snitch? Who, Calvin? Yeah. Calvin, mm. you went to jail for drugs, nigga. Wait, but right, but Mitch went to jail for murder or attempted. Yeah, well, I mean, he yeah, did murder, but I don't know if he got like kind of quick. So, too. how long was he going for? Let me see. Let me see. Do a little research. I'm about to say, yeah, because hey, Calvin got out after Mitch, and Calvin went in before Mitch. When Calvin gets arrested on drug charges, Ace runs into one of his customers. Uh... It, oh, I ain't gonna tell you how, how long he got locked up for. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not seeing how long he went to jail for. All right, one second. Let me. Where that pizza that from? That nigga. Red. He said, "What? Donato? There ain't nobody from that major." Are you gonna get on tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Coach. That's right. 
Coach Carter's playing in the background. They had they was playing Lil John, and I was like, I don't want this video to get taken down. <laughs> so I said, make sure turn down a little bit. But yeah, I'm look. I was looking up. I didn't see it. It just talks about why he got arrested, but it doesn't say exactly how, long. how long. Yeah. How so long. so so Calvin was selling. selling so Calvin was selling heroin, right? No, Calvin was selling coke. Yeah, he was selling coke. Was crack selling already. Coke. He was selling crack and all that shit already. Right. So Calvin was selling crack. And this was during the Reagan era, right? Yeah. Okay. So I don't really know who was in office, you know. <laughs> Shut that's, up. That, that's how you know it was <laughs> you see Reagan era. So, so, but at the so, same time, but Mitch somebody, had a murder charge. Okay, but, but, but think about this, though. They were giving niggas for crack. They were giving niggas football numbers for crack and murder. Like they were, well, for what you would get for crack is what would you get for murder, though? You snitched on somebody, bro. You yeah. told. <laughs> you told. But I'm trying. But I'm trying. You think? But you think Mitch snitched too, though? Yeah, but say no. that you gotta think that. No, I don't think Mitch snitched because at the end of the day, when it comes to, when it comes to murder and attempted murder, it's not it's not getting caught. It's what you can prove. If I can't prove it. Now let you off. So how if long do you think Mitch got though? He probably did like a year, year and a half. But if nobody testifies, if nobody testifies, right, you, you can go home. So now, but he but, sat for some little, a little bit of time. I mean, okay, so it really wasn't too long because when he got out, his sister was pregnant. So it's like, and bro was still young. He was still young, but Ace was the man though. So it's probably about two years. All I'm saying is. In order for you to get caught selling crack, I mean, go to jail for selling crack, you have to be caught with crack. <laughs> you, know like, you have to be caught with crack. Niggas can't get, niggas just don't go to jail off of allegations of selling crack. A lesson was slayed. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see, I'm not, I'm, I'm still, look, I was still looking, I didn't see anything, but yeah, I, I don't know for for because Calvin wasn't in jail for long because he came back he came back and expected to to sell drugs again like immediately. Nigga like, thought he was gonna be a kingpin like nigga the life has changed nigga. He said, "Bro, crack is I, crack is mainstream now." He said, "Little do you know, I read this shit now." Yeah, he got right. He, he said, said he, "He said, look at Junior." He said, "Ace, just Ace, just yeah, Ace." Had to cut that shit right. Because Calvin's one of those. Calvin was one of those niggas like. Try a little bro. You thought you, you thought, yeah, yeah. Like you thought, you thought shit was sweet whether if I was on top or not. Well, whether he, if it was me, it was like if it was another nigga. Remember in Goodfellas when dude got out of jail and was disrespecting uh, Joe Pesci's character, and he yeah. got, oh, yeah. no, that's, that's what this was. He came back and was like, he, he thought he's like, but the thing was, no more. That's what it was. He was like, but, I don't sign shoes no more. But the thing was, the thing was. Kirby wasn't no made man. You feel me? He wasn't. He, he, <laughs> he, he wasn't he was. no man. He thought he was. He, in his mind, in his mind, you know, he thought he was, I guess. But nah. He thought he was. He really killed that nigga. So he, they he, stomped that, that nigga out. Next yeah. part, they had, yeah, he stomped a shot at him. <laughs> they both, all three of them did. They, had, <laughs> they, they stomped hey, a shot at him. Hey, <laughs> My man Jimmy was really in his ass. Hey, 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 when you think about him, Jimmy was really his ass. Ah, 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 ah. That's what it was like. Oh, but it was like, but it was like they all, but it was like they all was on one the core. Like, the hood movie. I, I think they it is in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, they, were, hey, but they was all that. That was that's what you call teamwork and being in unison, right there. I said that's you, you know. <laughs> You know, that's a three man weave right there. You see me? They ran that shit to perfection. Like, <laughs> he said three man weave. They've been, they been doing that since 73. Like, you feel right. me? Like, <laughs> so, wait, wait, I'm going to get the next part real quick. So, we get mm -hmm. to, you know, he's salty, you know, because, you know, he was not able to control the block anymore. So, he decides to beat this nigga up and rob the nigga in his, in his own house. And, <laughs> So first of all, them. first of all, you got to tell it right. He had them call somebody, call him and say the baby's on the way. So he came over there not expecting none of that. None he of that. Gun butt to the nose. He, he came, but who could tell when he went to the door? He could tell something wasn't right. Yeah, it was dark. But I can't go in my mama's house shooting everything. Like I, I can't, I, I can't go into. 
But here's my thing when it came to Ace. If I would have, if if I, it's, it, it's damn if I do, damn if I don't. <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel you. In that situation going there, yeah, you got to go in. But at the same time, it's like, why was he even like, okay, that part of the movie don't make sense because they called and said the baby was on the way, but that's the girl crib when he went over there and said, you trying to make some money. You feel me? When they was, you know, bagging up shit at. Release Neil. They, they, didn't, they, didn't yeah. have, uh, they didn't have caller ID yet, though, so. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I definitely, I definitely understand that. But why did he still go there? Would, he had to go to pick up some money or something. Probably, probably because if they bagging him up, they hiding that shit there too. Yeah, all right, my yeah. bad. Go yeah. ahead. No, no, you good. I will say, well, either way, he went over there, got gun. Uh-huh. But I don't know if he he got hit in the eye yet or the nose of that part. But I remember he got, he got hit. With his yeah, I remember oh, he. No, got he- hit. He had just got his ass beat when he came in the door. When he was looking yeah. at the safe, that's when he got, you know, hitting his eye. Okay. I can't okay. see. I can't see. I can't see. Yeah, that's he's when he got he's yeah. that safe. He's like, I can't see, man. <laughs> so, so he got well, hit, and dude yelling, you know, literally sounds like Calvin. He's like, Calvin, I know it's you, nigga. Like, he put a white man can't jump. He said, nigga, I know that's you. <laughs> I know that's you. <laughs> he said, it ain't even got to be like this, man. Yeah, he well, my thing is this, though. So, and then it's like, Calvin, like, Okay, you you robbed the biggest drug dealer on the block. Did you really think you was gonna make it forty eight hours? Well, you gotta think, Calvin. Calvin thought he killed him. He thought he killed him. Remember, he shot him in the head. Yeah, he I mean, like I mean, this man yeah. got he got grazed in the head and shot in the head. Yeah, and lived. That's wild. Like, and and walked to the bedroom to lay by them. Yeah, <laughs> he really did. I didn't think about. That. I don't understand why he left the bathroom. They gonna still be like, okay, so shit escalated in here, and the motherfucker got dragged out here or something, maybe. Like, so, 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 they man. killed both of them, right? In that scene, they killed the two girls, yeah. Okay, but Ace I, I, lit. I remember, I, remember, I remember they played the music real loud. You heard the gunshots. I was like, well, then they was, then they getting lit up in there. Wait, oh, wasn't yeah. his baby? Wasn't his baby mom there? Nah, no, because no, the no. same night he got shot, his baby was still born. Cause remember the baby mom but, later on. That was the, the baby mom later on was like, "Oh, it was Mitch." Remember that was when because that was when they found uh, Mitch died. That scene hurt. They yeah. said they found him. He said, "Oh, they found Sunny." We <laughs> well, need to get to Sunny. We yeah, need to I get forget. to Sunny. Yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, gotta I set gotta, the scene. Get to too. I gotta get to that part too. You gotta set the scene. Yeah. So not only did he get shot and go to like go to the hospital, his boy comes in there to, to I guess give him support. <laughs> Support. And he said that told that his niggas, niggas get he shot every same, day, B. He did the he same, said same no. Shit. Bro, he he said, get him some shit soup. Calvin did. Get him a thermometer. <laughs> he said, bro, my thing is this, though. You sat there and you did the same exact thing that Calvin did. Like, that's wild to me. That tells me that niggas really ain't really in it for the right reason. Like, y'all have no loyalty. Like, y'all wild. Y'all like, what? Next man up. Like, <laughs> like, I, I mean, I mean that is what he said. He said niggas get <laughs> shot every day. <laughs> but like, he told him. He, he, he did he ate the chips with it. Like, hey, hey. B, he was he eating said, them chips loud as fuck. He said, <laughs> yo, he said, yo, A. I think he said, yo, A, B. Niggas, yeah. no, he said, yo, A, B. Niggas get shot every day. I said, "Hey, bro." No, no, he, no, no he, he said, "He said, yo, a hey, niggas get shot every day, b." Every day, like, b. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so we just gonna act like my nigga just my nigga is fighting. He said, "Get you some soup or something." Here's here's the wild thing though. To hey, say he that had to, to tell me. He said, "He said I got shot in my head, baby. I'm breathing different. My body <laughs> I'm different. Breathing different. I'm pissing. I'm through breathing I'm different, through baby, catheter, nigga." Bro, that's wild mm. to say to somebody. You you weren't shot. That's that's easy for you to say. Like, oh, niggas get shot every but day. But you know how many people? Leave. But you know how many people he did sue? <laughs> Ace Boogie? <laughs> no, no, not Ace. No, I'm talking he about shot Warren. He shot Lulu. <laughs> nah, nah, he didn't do that. <laughs> he shot Lulu. Rico, Lulu put him on so game. He, so then he Rico, thought. Rico, so then Rico he shot two bodies. Bro, but then yeah. Rico kills Calvin. Brings the chain to the hospital like that was gonna change. Ace nah, at that point he was in his living room. That's when he was in his living room. They was just sitting in the living room. <laughs> in the living room. He was already packed up. No, no, no. That was the same scene. That was the same scene because that because after he said that, 
He was like, bro, I'm done. He was like, I'm done. He was like, he was like, nah. Yeah, but they was at the crib though. He was through the chain on niggas' chest. He said, "Mm." (laughs) he said, I know what floats H boat. I know what float A's boat. Through that dirty ass chain on me, like this this chain mm-hmm. is bloody. First off, <laughs> like his chain is bloody. So, blood, so now, so like, bro, at the end of the day, it was it was more like, hey, nigga, I almost died. Like, I don't think he can, like <laughs> yeah, I don't think yeah he, for Ace. Yes, like that's he the, was happy to be alive. That's like, that's what I'm saying. That's wild to sit there and I go through all that. Like, I get shot in the head, robbed. These like two people that's helped me make the drugs got shot too, and your only reply is, hey. Niggas get shot every day. Get shot every day, B. That's why hey, you, you, just dismissed, you, just, just, you just dismissed it, like what I just said. You said huh? niggas get shot every day. All right, so look, but I'm going to tell you the same thing about Mitch, though. Mitch did the same thing, right? Because the scene, okay, your, your intro, when he was like, the thing is, A said, he said, when I seen the flash of that gun, the light, whatever, it was it was different to me. And you know what Mitch compared it to? Being magic a bird and being out there playing a game, whatever. Like a ball so, player. Like a ball player. Like a ball player. Yeah. He said, he said the little light little. to him was like that. He said, no, he said the light from the gun. I can still see it. He said, oh, the light to me is me <laughs> being a ball player. Nigga. This ain't, this ain't you don't right care. Now. Like, this ain't, you, this ain't the no, time, bro. He has some terrible y'all friends. Niggas, <laughs> y'all niggas, right, y'all you niggas you feel me when it comes yeah. down to it? Like, yeah, I mean, I mean, but real talk, though. But we're real talk. Even if you think about it, Mitch, Mitch wasn't a terrible friend, but Mitch always was taking shots at Ace at the beginning still. No, that's just wild to sit there and like to tell. Like, that's the it's just the fact that like the reason why they're terrible is I was in a life threatening situation where I should I, be dead. I, I should be I should be dead. And your thing is, hey nigga, I dream about being like like I like I'm gonna be the the, the Larry Bird, Magic Johnson um, selling, selling drugs. drugs. <laughs> <laughs> that and then the other nigga talking about some hey nigga, niggas get shot every day. Like that's uh. wild. <laughs> They said they said it to me as I'm on my deathbed, literally on my deathbed. <laughs> so I mean, get to, hey. <laughs> <laughs> get to the next part. So I uh, think it's around the t- this is around the point where Sonny gets kidnapped, and oh. they're like they get the ransom note. And Money like, making money. So, so oh yeah, before that, before I say that. Ace was like, "Listen, I'm done. I'm not. I'm not selling drugs right now." So they all was I'm like, out. pretty much on a freeze. And that's when you know, you know, um, Ch- I'm about to say Chico. <laughs> Rico was out there knocking niggas out, <laughs> and he dragged, they pulled him out the car. Which I heard he hit that nigga in real life. Like he, that was a real. Hey, he the nigga in real hey, life. hey. First of all, that was that nigga in the car's fault because he thought he could just pull up, flex, and talk his shit and all that. I'm talking he shit. He deserved. Like I, like I won't knock you the fuck out. <laughs> but the thing is, he deserved to get pulled out his car. Never yeah. seen that happen in my life. I would like to, to get pulled out room, but to get pulled out. To, first of all, when he pulled I, up, I didn't even think he had his shit in park. Get, I thought get, he was. I thought he just had his foot on the brake. It was still in drive. We see it happen. We see it happen. Real I, look, look. Okay, Kenny. <laughs> look, when I when I said it, when I said it, I said it to my kids because I thought about a moment where I did. And look, I was going to say it the beginning. I knew a person that kind of reminded me of Rico at times yeah. in his past. We in his past say, life, we always said, you know, TK but, was money making bitch. I was Ace Boogie, <laughs> and uh, uh, you know, we got, another, we got another friend that's Rico. I ain't gonna say who it is. We got another friend uh, that's Rico. <laughs> in every Listen, situation, and and but in every movie, he always kills me for some reason. I don't, I, I don't really every, <laughs> every time, time, and I never understand why I'm the character that always every dies. Time. Him. <laughs> like, you know, that's a sidebar. Go ahead, though. That's a sidebar. So, so at this point, um. Sonny gets kidnapped. Um, I think it was Money Making Mitch's mom that's like, hey, just pay the money, just pay the money. And he's like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you see how he dismissed that too. Like, like you like your nephew wasn't just kidnapped. What? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what? Just pay the money. What like, we gotta do what? <laughs> Sonny's kidnapped. Like, nigga, go pay that money. <laughs> they killed my they killed my little, they got my little man's man. He said they so, jerked him. So, so he goes. I was like, Sonny probably feel good if they jerked him. Till I figured out, you know, it was like, <laughs> Sonny was probably over there relaxing his shit. <laughs> I he like it here. here. Hey, he nah, it. Yeah, nah, it was, hey, that, he took his finger. Yeah, yeah, I know. It, it, it when I first seen it, 
I said, damn, this nigga got kidnapped and he got jerked. Like, oh my God. But it sucks though because. Oh, to be funny. It sucks though because. It, it sucks though because your nigga, my uncle, my own uncle. Uncle I Ice. You, niggas is hating out here. Niggas is hating out here, B. <laughs> oh, uncle Ice. My so, own uncle? Like my own uncle, though? So we get to the point. Another nigga with money. They Bunny McMitch is going his little rant in the car. He's like, "Listen, I don't care who out there, whoever owe me money. Me. He was going to murder anybody that me. disrespect me, anybody I, that owe me money." He's and, that, and that's when they revealed the finger thing. But I didn't I'm realize he died cool. immediately after that. <laughs> I didn't know. I forgot he died immediately after that. Who Money making? Remember because he, he had because it was that he night. Went go, he went to go meet about <laughs> some keys. I know, yeah, my think Ace hooked him up and. He he just needed to get help from he needed support from a friend, you know he was going through a lot and he hit up his friend and he felt like he can count on. I know, but I didn't realize like like I said because I've seen the movie a bunch of times and like I said I ain't seen it in about a year. Like it's like I used to watch it all the time, but it's been about a year since I watched it last. Besides this time, I watched today. I didn't realize like I said I didn't realize it was literally right after. Oh yeah, the that, it was that like, night. <laughs> he was she was yep. crying like oh they didn't got they didn't got him. It was like they got Sunny. She was like no. Mitch, <laughs> and I will say this. And, and I, I don't want to laugh. laugh. <laughs> and I will, that is wild. You think somebody else died? They, somebody else. He said they found him. I'm like, oh, he said, damn, they found Sonny. He was no, like, no, Mitch. baby, it was Mitch. He got shot in the head. I was like, oh, oh. Mitch. Imagine, imagine, oh. imagine you can't find somebody. It's somebody like, I got to look for it. But then them niggas get found. It's like, what? Stop it. No, don't you take it from the moment. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you're such an asshole. That's wild. Damn. Damn that's that's wild. messed like, up, man. Because he said, I'm going to go find him. <laughs> he got found. <laughs> like, that ain't wow. funny, bro. Well, he that's wasn't funny. hiding, though. He wasn't hiding. <laughs> he was... That's what I'm saying. He got found. He was he was, he was speaking. You feel me? And he was speaking. and got found. How you how you get how you get tagged? You the one. Player. You the tag. <laughs> and when you the one, it you, it, you get tagged. That was dirty. I felt bad. I, I low key felt I, I low key felt bad for, him, but then at the same time, I'm like. Like, that's just the game, you know. What I'm no, saying? It's one like, of the because, like, because at this point, in my, my opinion, like, he was looking for trouble. It's one of the things he was looking for trouble, but I mean, I didn't know he's going. He knows find from his own nigga, like, but he was looking <laughs> for trouble. Like, that's wild, ain't it? Like, he said, anybody look at me wrong, I'm getting them. I'm getting them. Then it's like, hey, nigga, I'm <laughs> I didn't even quick. think about that. Yeah, yeah. So wait, so wait, nah, bro, nah, you can't count that one though because. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, really think about that though. He said, anybody ever looked at me wrong, you know, they're, they're done. They're dead. And then it's like, oh, let me, okay, before I do all that shit, leave me, me my nigga real quick. And all of a sudden, he shoots you. He's like, what? That's what he's looking like. He's, like, he's on the ground. What the fuck? He said, my old nigga shot me. Like, this is wild. He did look at that nigga like, what the fuck? Right. How many did, keys? Was it it 14 or 15 keys? But, it 15. Like, it's like, I'm about it's to say, but you know, you know what that shows you? Never trust a nigga you meet in jail. A hundred percent. Wait, 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 wait. A hundred percent. Because old boy was trustworthy in, in uh Get Richard Die Trying, though. He met him. Hey, jail. look, Kenny Dan, why every he, time you read my damn mind? He? Because he said, I don't like niggas sitting behind me, man. You said this. <laughs> that was 50s man, man I though. I don't watch a lot out. of hood movies. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna find a counter <laughs> counterplay. Hey, <laughs> I don't know if he was trustworthy though. Oh wait, what trust you got to say? Hear me because out. would you trust okay. a nigga that was would you trust the nigga that was trying to protect you in the shower? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, my yes. thing is my thing is I wouldn't trust a nigga that name is Alabama or whatever, and he ain't even from there. <laughs> that is why about to say <laughs> that, that was a that, that was right there was that was strike one. He said call me Bama. Where you from? North Carolina. What <laughs> nigga? First of all, I don't know. I don't know if we starting off on the right foot right here. <laughs> I don't know if this is. I don't know if this is a good start we're supposed to that's, have. That's a better one because if I'm about oh, to get shaken in the bathroom, I'm gonna need some help. <laughs> like, thank you, I appreciate you. Like my. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, what was that? 
Oh, so you know, he said, "Is that what I think it's fourteen keys?" He, said, he got fourteen keys right there. God, oh. shot, shot the nigga in the gut. He shot me <laughs> like three times too. Like <laughs> it was wild. He, he, he tried to make sure he was dead. Yeah, that's wild. Well, he made sure he killed him. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, his he, buddy. Yeah, because he because he he see that boogie lived. He said, "You know what? I ain't about to have that shit happen again." Mm -hmm. So yeah, so so he shot but him. It, and it then, just was it was just fucked up because like you know you kill Calvin. You know, and then you, you kill Calvin, you know, that's like, okay, that's my homie. I'm riding for my homie. And then you kill, you kill your homie. Nigga. Yeah, then you kill your, like, damn, nigga. Yeah, he's just wild. Who are you riding man. for? He's riding he for is, Rico. Like, he's, yeah, he's riding for himself. And here's the, here's the wild thing, too. So after he kills him, who just jumped in here? Me. Oh, I was like, what in the world? I just heard that being like, like somebody's jumping in here. Put me in the next one because I got it. There you go. Okay, so you're in there now. All right, so that all goes down. And while this is all going down, there is a there's these feds that you know they're trying to be they're undercover and <laughs> these these are the worst undercover cops ever. They're all wearing striped, hey. striped turtlenecks in the middle of 90 degree New York. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "What's up, man? You got the prices on those bricks." <laughs> <laughs> he really was. Dude had an afro <laughs> and shit. He was like, he looked wild. He, there's only niggas in the there's only niggas in the movie with goatees. Everybody was was bare faced. There's the only ones with goatees. They looked old. So they, <laughs> so they the, the whole movie they're like, hey, you know, you know, we, you know, put us on. He's like, ah, I'm not sure about them. Every time you see them, ah, I'm not sure about them. They they dressed worse and worse every time you ah. see them. I, I don't know. I don't know. So <laughs> so they get Damn. so he gets to the. So he he starts like uh, I don't know. He says he's supposed to meet up with. Uh, he says money making is supposed to meet up with Rico. Let me let me let me let me talk to Rico about this. I'm a little 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 shaky about this. A little little shady. Something a little shady about the situation. Me so with him. He's like, what's that scar on your face? Messing with some messing with some fast girl last night. Oh okay. He said like, you ain't recorded. He was like, oh, you recorded? You know me and shit. <laughs> yeah, he said, I think you know me and shit. <laughs> Yeah, nigga, I do know you. <laughs> he said, nigga, I seen the tape. <laughs> I seen your ass. <laughs> so he's like, you know what? Mm, can't trust my mans right here. Got to gotta give him on up. And that's when he gave him to the to the feds. And he's like, y'all might call me a punk, but I had to do what I had to do. He did, so, say, hey, he did say that when he was narrating, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. He did say that when he was narrating. <laughs> he said, I got to do what I got to do pretty much. So he said it. So he got arrested. And here's the thing, too. They was in there shooting. I I, I forgot they was in there shooting. <laughs> like, yeah, he shot he shot a cop. Yeah, it was, that's he why was he, he got 25 years. <laughs> He's like, God, God, God. and you know, he gets arrested. All right, so look, so look, so look. Can I give yeah. you my little theory? Yeah, go ahead. I think Rico was the realest nigga in the movie. Mm. What do you say that? Because he didn't snitch. Because he, he said, him, but he, on he, said yeah. he said, I did this, I did that, and all that. But Rico kept it real the whole movie. He let Ace know the whole time. He said, Niggas out there, he said, they all fighting for a higher position right now. That's what he yeah. said to him that one night in the club, whatever. And that right there, she told Ace, he already knew that already. He said, Hey, why you got soldiers and you ain't going to use them? He knew what he was. He shot a nigga in broad daylight in the ass. <laughs> he really did. And made that nigga walk away. All because that nigga said, I ain't eating. <laughs> about to say, Rico might, I think he might be the realest nigga in the movie. He Here's said, I'll, I'll give you a people out of town, but I ain't giving you nobody in Harlem. Because when I come back out, I'm going to still, still be the time. man. I'm going to still be the man. I got one statement what? that describes this whole movie. That describes the whole movie. If everybody just, just listen to this one statement, everybody would have lived. Read okay. the fucking room. <laughs> read the room. Mm. Read the room. <laughs> Every situation. Read the room. You be like, hmm. I'm on a murderous rampage. This nigga said, you got 14 keys right there. Nope. <laughs> Don't listen to him. <laughs> 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 you, got, you got Calvin. You got Calvin. The nigga could pull it up. What's Papa Kirby? Read the room. Mm. Accelerate. <laughs> Accelerate. And now real talk, Cal Calvin got caught off guard because Calvin was trying to get some cheeks and he was trying to take her around the corner. But she was like, nah, you got money. You can take me to a hotel. I have to say, look, if she would have just went around the corner, she could have got that little $20, $40, whatever, how much, how much ever. I don't know how much it cost back then. I don't know how much it costs now either, though. But it's just like... <laughs> 
She could have got whatever she could have got. But nah, she wanted to be stubborn. <laughs> Wait, say, wait, say, you wait. Sound, you see, your yeah. mic sounds terrible. Let me do something. You sound you. All right. Can you hear now? There you go. I had my hand over it. I said that nigga, that nigga was going. I said that nigga was going to die whether it was two o'clock or five o'clock. <laughs> that, that nigga was dying that day because Rico. Oh yeah. Read the room. Oh, yeah. Rico, a, hey. Rico wanted to prove a point. Hey, and time out, time out. I never know why Rico was the realest nigga in the movie. I to say, because Mitch went looking for trouble, right? Yeah. And he lost. Rico <laughs> went looking for trouble, and every time Rico went looking for trouble, what happened? He was yeah. successful. Well, because Rico was a troublemaker, though. <laughs> here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. When you go looking for trouble, you go find it. <laughs> hey, the but the out. thing is, Rico always came out in the end without a stretch. No, he got well, okay, I can't five say that. times to die in real life. <laughs> yeah, saying, but that was I'm that was saying, just when went last year. Yeah, that was last year. He got shot five. That times. was last. Hey, he did, and when he did say he was gonna come out on top, he he didn't understand what happened at that time period and what was waiting for him when he got out. You know, Ace Boogie said he said he said he got hit like I got hit, but he ain't fucking breathing. Breathe. <laughs> mm, many men. <laughs> <laughs> But the thing is, shit, Mitch, look, Ace got shot and Mitch got shot the night after Ace got shot, damn it. Two nights you know, later. Honestly, I would not want to sell drugs with them. They all got shot at one point. <laughs> they all got shot at one point. Yeah, there's really no, is there really a, is there, is there really a happy ending to this? Uh, the, I think the only the only happy ending uh, for for a drug dealing movie was American Gangster. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that's no, what we that's huh? happy I don't even think that was happy. No, the that's niggas, not. All the niggas, niggas ran it. The niggas, niggas ran up for the sunset died, together, and they, his, and they sent that nigga's mom back to North Carolina, bro. Bro, that nigga ran up for the sunset with the cop that arrested him. <laughs> <It was> like, <laughs> he was like his boy. Boy was free spray. <laughs> All right, so we'll get to the questions. Then I got always got a couple questions I'm gonna ask for the, to end the show. So, what was the most gangster shit of the movie? What was the most gangster shit of the movie? The, the most gangster shit of the movie was when he pulled that man out his when car. He a, when he pulled that nigga yeah. out the car, when, when he straight. pulled that man out his car, I like I told you, I thought he pulled up and had his shit in drive, still just had his foot on the brake. But he pulled him out, and this car sat right there. So he he pulled up. Look, he I, that man. He came looking for trouble, and he found it. I, yeah, and then on top of that, there's <laughs> another scene that's tied with it. Because when he shot old boy, when he shot Kermit, <laughs> that nigga said <laughs> he froze. Like <laughs> anytime you get shot, ah. you stand still like that. He died nasty. I don't ever want to die like that. He deserved uh, Or all right, hold look. Or my other gangster scenes, for real. I don't even think it really be against the scene, but when Ace told uh, Mr. Pitt, he said, I want my $75 on Friday. I like that, that shit, too. Bro, the, the, he, this nigga was making $75. <laughs> he, said, right, he said, hey, he said, I want my $75 on Friday. <laughs> he didn't even grow up yet. He just knew he needed that last check, and I felt it. So I was like, <laughs> hey, he said, well, and Mr. Pitt, he was, he, he didn't even want to give it to me. He said, what the hell, you need $75 for a big shot? King's in? Like, nigga, <laughs> he, he, he did work my he hours. Want to pay me. Right. Oh, oh, so now I don't get my last check. <laughs> because he'd been working hard and his son was had the rollerblading tournament to go to. You remember forgot about that in Rose? <laughs> oh, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. Uh-uh. That man. That man was a janitor. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> that boy. See, they wasn't skating that. this. <laughs> <laughs> they wasn't skating in this. <laughs> and love interest portion. How bad was the love interest in the movie? So the love interest was was it is that Regina King or Regina Hall? I always forget them too confused. That's Regina. That's Regina Hall. Regina Hall, okay. Yeah, because I know I know one of them is the hey, one is she uh, was all right in this movie too. She was all right in this movie. She was okay. She wasn't a, she, she was all right. Movie. She was all right. She had her moments. I was like, okay, I see it. I see it. Because she, she was boring too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, he said, so oh, we, here come we, the bullshit. We rate out of five. We rate out of five for this. Okay, so when we rate this, this is on looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, oh. yeah, that, that's why I assumed it was on looks. Four. I, all right, I didn't know the whole mean like like their love interest was they love interest a good one, or you just talked about her. I'd say she's about a good three and a half, though. 
three and a half, yeah. Because my, my three thing, and is half. Always, thing is always the, the hood movies always got the best females in the movies. <laughs> they always got the best looking females. Nah, look, she, she would have been, I would have gave her a little bit higher, but when Mitch first ripped her in the beginning, he said, touch your little butt away. I was like, yeah. oof. You feel me? When he said that, I was like, oh, you know, you know, he got it. <laughs> <laughs> They sleep with everybody's sister in that movie. Then we got the uh, who was the real villain of the movie? Who was the real villain of the movie? Calvin. Who? <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, Calvin, Uncle Ice, Rico, Uncle Ice. Like, nigga, who do you want? Uncle Ice. Lady? Yeah, there's a lot because usually there's like the, because I was the other thing about her movies is always the main villain, but there's always another villain. I feel like that that could be like ah, you can argue for like like like. Dutch, I think it's Ice for uh, sure. Baby boy, we said uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Rodney was the main villain, but the real villain we said was Yvette. <laughs> <laughs> the first was, episode, was Yvette? She was the real oh, yeah. villain. I, <laughs> I feel that. I do feel that too. Like. <laughs> But, but but this one, the real villain, yeah, what we saying Uncle Ice is what we saying. I Uncle say Ice Ice was real, real talk, Uncle, Uncle Ice was a real villain because if he never would have kidnapped Sonny, Mitch would probably still be alive. Hey, you feel me? Yeah, he wanted. Oh so, yeah, there, he wanted to be out there looking. If he was cause, never cause they just... need the fourteen, they need the fourteen uh, keys to to get him back anyway. But my thing is, why was Ice so desperate to live off of Mitch? Like he said, you ain't taking you care of me. You gotta think he was a hating ass nigga and he was a bum. Like, like right, but just like, so why am I supposed to take care of you? Like you feel me? Like what do what I owe you? He was a crackhead, wasn't he? He was getting high off. He was getting high off. Hey, he was a he was an employee. He was an employee of him, but but the thing was, he he was he pulled a smoky. Real talk. So smoky. look, when he opened up that bathroom door, you seen that little uh that little tube or whatever that little tie. So he was doing hair. He was in there shooting up. So he ended up, being, he ended up being a crackhead. He pulled. He pulled you a G money. You said T money. No G money. He pulled a G money. It was, it was in, in oh. married damn pipe. That nigga married that mm. dick. Oh <laughs> lord, don't don't get to that. <laughs> we gonna get we gonna get to that one episode because that's that's my that's my favorite <laughs> movie of all time. And then mm. were there any redeemable characters? Yes. Who? Mitch. So you saying Mitch and? Was I'm going Boogie and Mitch. You was going to say who? How was Boogie redeemable though? Like, what did he get redeemed for? Like, he didn't really, he never did nothing bad. Yeah, I'll give you that. I, I'm saying say like, 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 when I say redeemable character, I'm saying like these are characters like, okay, they're actually on their shit. Like, they. I, I mean, it's, I don't know who you could call redeemable for real in that movie. The only person you can call redeemable is Rico because he owned up to all his shit and did his time. No, he definitely right. that nigga sat there and said, I'm snitching. I mean, but I'm not gonna snitch on these niggas. I'm gonna come back and sell drugs again. But like, the thing is, learn shit. He, but he knew he killed his man and shit, and now he gotta go sit on that too for the longest. You feel me? So it's like, and everybody well, knew it. Well, that didn't end good, but it didn't end good. But I'm saying though, like, if anybody's redeemable, it would have been him because he did everything. He like, he, he did whatever he had to do to like redeem himself. I mean, Mitch didn't redeem himself. He went to jail for, for murder and came out and started selling drugs right away again. Calvin went to jail for drugs and came out <laughs> selling drugs immediately. Rico went to jail for who knows what he went to jail for. But he got out and he, you know, but then when he, he went, went back. He went to jail for murder and, and drug selling. Was, so you feel was, me? I mean. Intent to distribute. Because <laughs> he had so oh, yeah, much he was back. Well, you know he definitely intended to get rid of that shit. You know, he was trying to keep up money. Like, yeah, that nigga had 14 keys on him. <laughs> like, you know he had to distribute. He was living a good life at that time. <laughs> oh, 14 keys to change your life. He was having some, oh, his life was already changed. He just needed that. And, and look, that was all for him. That's what he was thinking. Oh, that's all for me. <laughs> And then, um, did the main character learn anything? Yes. What did he learn? Ace did learn stuff. Ace We're learned that. Proof vest. <laughs> no, no he didn't even need a vest. No, <laughs> he, what did he need a vest for? Yeah. He would have went out like, <laughs> remember Black Man? <laughs> yeah, shoot him in. <laughs> this nigga's wearing a vest. This nigga got shot in the head twice <laughs> down there. 
<laughs> He's trying to run and get meta. Nigga need to wear a helmet. <laughs> he He's a basketball player. He should have turned to a damn football player. Like, <laughs> at least get a helmet. All right, shit. So what are we rating this hood movie? Out of what? Out of five? Out of five. Everything's out of five on the uh, hood movie review. Five. I, I got to go with five too. That movie that that's in my, five. That was in my Sorry. top five hood movies. It went yeah. down. It went down. It used to be my top three, but it went down to to top five. I think this like. I don't know. This one was always high on my list. This one, Menace to Society, and New Jack City is always my top, you know. I love New Jack City. Three. I don't like Menace to Society. I don't. I, don't really, I do don't like really Menace to Society. Top five hood movie. You said what's up? Those are my top three. Top hood movie. Yeah, yeah. We'll say, uh, that's his. That's his for sure. Fuck no. I'm giving this movie a 3.5. Let me tell you why. Okay. okay. The story was fucking. First of all, the story was fabricated. You gonna do a true story? Oh, for, oh, for sure. Because 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 I mean, you had the fabrication. Hey, if you gonna and do that's... a true story, if you gonna do a true story, Dame Dash, don't be no pussy. Give me your. <laughs> <Go all laughs> out, Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. That nigga killed Lulu. So he ain't gonna say that shit. <laughs> he didn't do that. <laughs> he killed. Let him. me also tell you why it's a three out of. Let me also tell you three out of five Damn. because Jesus, he beat that nigga's ass. Let me tell you why because. <laughs> Let's be real, bro. There really wasn't no scene that had this like, <gasps> oh shit. No, nah, I ain't gonna stun. It did. When I knew you got shot when I first seen it, I said, damn. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I didn't know it was a true story when I first first seen it because the movie came out in 02. I was what, 10? I was 10 then. I didn't know that. Bro, there ain't no, there ain't like when I be when I watched it as an adult, I'm like, bro, there's really, there's really no scene that makes me like, oh shit. Like in Juice. When that nigga killed, when that nigga uh, killed Raheem, we were like, "Oh fuck!" That well, was- well, Juice is a horror movie, first off, so that's different. <laughs> that's a horror movie. That's, that's, a horror movie. <laughs> that's a horror movie. When when Kane when Kane gets killed at the end, oh fuck! When Cleo gets killed at the end, oh fuck! Oh, they, hey, nigga, damn! You just <laughs> more <laughs> alert. I haven't oh, seen none of those movies, say, like, sir. This movie, this movie didn't really <laughs> shock me. <laughs> It really didn't shock I mean, me. Like, I want, like, it shocked me because the main you character mean it didn't shock the main you, though, character right? <laughs> this, is one of, like, three, this is one of three hood movies that the main character lived. <laughs> they always die. I think it did shock you, though, in certain parts, though, because you didn't expect, bro, to, hey, man, turn around. Stay right there. And then you uh-huh. just shoot him in broad daylight. And this nigga will say, man, put that away. Like, they was just standing there. Put that away. He said, you're right, you're right, my bad. He shot I about that. You're right. He, he, started, going ra- he started going on a Dougie. rant. He started going on a he rant. He was his Dougie. He said, hey, man, that that shocked me. He just said, I shot you. Because <laughs> now that TK said it, hey, nigga, you a, you, a, you a wild boy to be recording, cranking your Dougie, and still keep focused. Sledge. And, and, keep, and it was, bro, that was not like no, that was not like no two minute, three minute scene. This man was really like. No, no, that. That that camera was set up somewhere. He was not holding that. That man, that, that man poured oh, champagne. He was he he was a professional. He looked <laughs> into the camera. He, he looked at the camera. So it's like you TK, know he had it set up. TK, he poured champagne on the back and had another hand on her waist. <laughs> like, <laughs> he, look, look, and he was he well, said, "Throw that ass back." So when he <laughs> said that, I was like, "Oh yeah." And he hit the dougie with both hands. He, he said, I know, I know somebody. I know somebody that said I would have popped the top right there. About to say, but it's like, <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> hey, y'all ain't, gonna, y'all ain't gonna have time to watch my film. I would have been no talking during it, that would have been it. <laughs> That's a you TikTok. Blink, that motherfucker gonna be over. <laughs> That's a TikTok. That ain't no damn show. That's a TikTok. <laughs> That's a Vine. Vine. <laughs> Soon as it came back, it was like, well. <laughs> said, I want to go get some snacks. What happened? <laughs> it's done, B. I called <laughs> Vine and I was out of there. He said, niggas get fucked every day, B. I'm breathing. He said, I'm breathing. <laughs> He said, I'm breathing different. <laughs> I'm breathing different. <laughs> he said, my body's not the same no more, baby. <laughs> I'm breathing different. <laughs> Ooh. 
man. He's even hey. talking to me. I got done that. <laughs> 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 well, we gonna end it right here. I just made enough money to make them to bake biscuits for the whole projects, Nick. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs>